Just 30 kilometres out of Burkina Faso's capital, Ouagadougou, and you're into a zone with a very high incidence of malaria. And that's exactly why this team of researchers have come to find and catch the mosquito larvae. We keep them until they're mature to test them in the lab. Malaria is a big killer in Burkina Faso, with 15,000 deaths yearly. Now the government's trying to fight back. Their research program has found that at least half of these mosquitoes are resistant to the insecticides used in mosquito nets. That means the insects can simply wait on the net until they get a chance to bite. Many kids are getting malaria and it is uh, a major cause of uh, death. Uh, this 70-year-old grandmother in a village near the capital has seen a lot of grandchildren dying. This year there was a lot of malaria. Small children suffered especially. This kind of mosquito resistance is unique to Burkina Faso and these fields are where the problem starts. Insecticides used in the cotton industry wash into mosquitoes' breeding places, making them resistant by nature. But this 37-year-old cotton farmer and father of three says he has little choice but to use the insecticides. If we stop using the insecticide here, we'll just have to start treating for other diseases. The head of the malaria research program here says new insecticides have to be developed fast. In the current fight against malaria, even with the use of new insecticides, we don't anticipate a major impact. For now, the government's using foreign aid to buy up six million mosquito nets for its whole population, treated with an insecticide which, so far, mosquitoes have not yet become resistant to.